Come, and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Wow! Talk about hurly burly! This place is busy! <laughs> well, this hour, too. Guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Uh... Maybe it's because of what Dia told us earlier, but... Baiman can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. Yeah. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Asfun told us to try posing as Academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the Academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're Academia students and asking about the stolen item? Figuring out what could be crucial for our... Figuring that out could be crucial for the rest of our investigation here. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask yeah. around and see what we come up with. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? No. Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the Academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Well, that's easy. Wait, wait did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge indeed. something people just buy and sell like that? Whatever was stolen from the academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Let's go to the tavern. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million more. Have Relying on information is worth the price. I won't let them off easy if it turns out to be a scam. Turns out to be a scam. Oh, all right. Paima never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of Mora. But if you know what you're doing, then Paima we should give it a shot. Paima very stingy about the Mora we have. I got like millions. We got millions. Okay, half a million is nothing right now. All right, to the tavern it is. Oh, you've arrived. Please, take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> they're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracol Battalion. 
They've also amassed a significant amount of more at this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Oh, that's new. Greater Lord Ruka Devata, a traitor? Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Yeah, that's interesting. Wait, ask right now? Okay. Yo! Huh? Who are you? What do you want? Um, ooh. I'm a traveler. A traveler? Uh, now's probably not the time to talk about that. Didn't the students say Aramites are wary of outsiders? A student from the academia. A student? <laughs> that doesn't sound bad. What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I'm looking for info on a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? <laughs> I do math. Oh, Paimon can't stand this. He's so much more ago. But there's no other choice right now. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? I just have one more question. Oh, that's right! We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh... Because... We're... Uh... Paimon. Energy students! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land, where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions, and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me! Dang. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there, oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. Hmm. Okay. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> Can you tell us more about this oracle? <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not okay, just yet. This man is a fraud. Uh, hello. Huh? <sighs> you again? <laughs> Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen Hello. to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once mm. you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Mmm, scam. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! 
What are you oh, playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you, don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the Academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tevat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Eremite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? Where's Dendro? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Okay. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. Yeah. Hm. Thank you. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well, someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. He's always a tall man. Consider the meal compensation like really for our silence. For like I'd say you're here. getting an excellent deal. Whoa, did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Amorites running too. I want to talk to him some He more. seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions. Also. I want him. Wait up! It's I'll hate them. I'll right? hate them. What do you want? Thank you for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. Let him. All right. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Hold your horses. We still have something to ask you about. <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem. <clears throat> certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? I'm a student of the academia. A student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. I know a thing or two about Surplay. Huh? Oh, yeah! She's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. What is this we? She doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part. Maybe not, but she can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Uh, um... From guys like that. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, 
I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. Awesome. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's small beans now. <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm, what else? It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Oh! Huh? Paimon can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. Oh! Okay. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Anyone? Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules confer their contents without any requisites. That's amazing! <laughs> it's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. How come? They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha, and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Okay, so knowledge about the past. I got Meanwhile, it. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. Yeah, very helpful. I heard that the academia really lost something recently. Seems like it's a knowledge capsule. Ah, oh, so that's your true objective. I want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. What do I have to do? <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Will do. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. What is it? I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Oh! Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the academia because most of her wares don't comply with academia regulations. Mm -hmm. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Okay. Why do you want us to meet with her? Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. Dang. Uh, fine. So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Got it. But fun. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. Mm. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. 
Huh? Sure, thanks. I'll take your money. We only just saw our knowledge capsule for the first time. We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. That's a good point. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Indeed we have. Oh? Well, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. And he, there he goes. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Hmm. Um, they look well, the same to my mind. mind. They do look the same outside without sight. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. Mmm, one glows more. How'd it go? Did you see anything? They both glow green. One of the, the one on the left shines brighter. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's okay. because knowledge originates from Ermensoul, the root of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. Got it. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Okay, so the ones that... Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. So... the brighter ones are the bad ones? Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Got it. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any mora left over, just keep it. Will do. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been mantra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Matra? Hmm. They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The mm. Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. I'm willing to take that risk. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. Okay, morning flower can knowledge. Sumaru Sumaru Rose, illegally available. Mouse, customer. Tiger, Mata. Taken by mice. Sold to customer. Taken by tiger. Confiscated by Mata. Pack in Sumaru city style. Purchase a small amount. Pack in Ormo style, large bulk. Customer of skill. A customer of skill. Hara fruit that causes dizziness and ringing ears. Ooh, a huge joke. So, Hara fruits. Can knowledge. This is, this is, this is, ooh, there's some, there is some, uh, this is some thieves can't talk right here. Okay, morning fire. Can knowledge, legal money. Okay. Uh, customer. Tiger. Okay, I think I got it. Hello, what are you two looking to buy? Oh, is it oh, is it raw or unripe? It was raw. Wait, are you sure you're remembering that right? Uh, Hyman doesn't think it was that on the paper. Okay, you're right. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Following the paper got us past the first round. Yeah. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You too. 
Please follow me. Got it. Okay. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Um, no, look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. Sure was I'm glad you're doing this, Paimon, and not me. Uh, I'm starting to get confused. The warehouse now. is up ahead. Please follow me. Okay. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. Hmm. Congratulations to you. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? in the Sumeru city or Port, Port Ormo Ormos. style. Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay, everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot, it's the Matra. Run! Tigers! What? The Matra? Where? Oh, hey, them zipper dumps where if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Go. Which way? I don't know this area, so let's follow them. Which way? I'm scared. <laughs> Come the tree. Hey, if you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger, come this way. Got it. Another password. Here, over here. You can stop running now. Hey. Oh, wait. Is that to? Does that to scare us? Or so you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely going to be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, it was a trick. Oh, very good. Uh, thank you. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure that you look a whole lot scarier. Nope, it is small. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be. Believe I'm you do me. Not the door. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Many shady dealings. I'm sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much more they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry, I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please, knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Can you show us the products? Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead, help yourselves. Voila! Wow. She has a trove of Karen's knowledge. There's a lot. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichurls. Only three people in all of Tibet have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Hey, who would want to be an expert in that topic? I think, is that, is that, um, Alice? Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tibet in the early Archon War period? That sounds maybe interesting. With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Ah, uh, you know what? I can do that. Whoa, that's a lot of mora. Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. Hmm, there's two. I'll take this one. And this one. As well as this one. Ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders. And quite the eye for quality. Hmm. I'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Hmm, how much? Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million mora. Say what now? So... Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million! Calm down, Paimon. Don't trick her into spending... into you spending more. But all the can knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Isn't that a fantastic deal? It does sound like a good deal. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. And so far, everything we bought belongs to all Haytham. Did you have to say that out loud, Paimon? Are the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? I think you're the one who's curious. You want? You just want to see me try it. Come on, come on. We still have around 100,000 of Al Haytham's moral left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for okay, you. Okay, so if I don't spend it, I keep them up. You've got a deal, Dory. We'd like to spend an extra 100,000 mora. Excellent. And then please, select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million mora each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. Mm. Oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Alright, let's have a look. They're all kind of so, not glowing. what did you see? They all seem equally bright. So they're all worth about the same amount? Yeah. Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, That's so because of you. let's at least try to find something useful. Yeah, what do we got over here? What are their options? Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques. The Art of Growing Spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, 
How about this one? Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Not sure we'd ever find volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Bye, my me. Dory, we'll take this one. All right. Very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. Our feelings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Kunduk and meet up with Al Haytham. Hopefully okay. now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. I want to read these real quick. I guess this one's mine. Oh, really good pirate. You have no idea what the first sentence is about. Comet. Almost hit destroy for a second. I did it. Huh. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Whoa. There's so many people from the academia here. Well, Wakela Funduk is under the Academia's control, so naturally the Academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macho won't come here. <sighs> okay now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. Well, I think we spent all your money, but I think we got what we needed. knowledge capsule that the academia lost now before that i have to ask why are you two so intent on tracking it down you don't have to answer of course it's not a secret or anything we want to meet the nindar archon yeah she just wants to meet the god of wisdom and ask her about something important we've been in sumero for a while now but we still haven't found a way yeah i mean when we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. Awesome. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Ooh, wow. That is There's a very really high such a price thing point. Hey, if we find do you think we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or even how to find your brother? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. Oh. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. Hmm. Your goal to find it, too. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Eremites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Eremites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ain al Ahmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ainul Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. Okay. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, 
the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Exactly what I want. Okay. Then we'll meet up in two days. Got it. Um, oh, hey, Thum. Before you go, we actually bought a knowledge capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure. I can teach you. Oh. Doing so right under the academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Got it. Alright, this place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here! Hmm. Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Eremites to augment their battle capabilities. Can we actually, like, gain some technique from it? Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. Okay. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! Oh, hey, Thum! You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the Academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? I'm also curious about this. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Hmm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. Alright, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Alright, fight... you? <laughs> Just a given. All right. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. Hmm. Okay. You know, I thought this was going to be just a little side thing, but am I actually going to gain some power from this? Hey, how are you feeling? It's only for a moment. Whatever was inside the capsule became part of my memory. You mean that it worked? Yes. All right. Time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. Much. Scatter! 
brain outlines your fate. Give But it did, I did, uh, a little bit. Uh, I couldn't really tell a difference. So I guess, yeah, you're right. How much of a food. Now, I'll start recording data again. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve her combat capability. During the second fight, her overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Just that small, huh? Wait, how much? <laughs> That's basically zero. So I'm already <gasps> awesome. Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million mora? This thing isn't worth a tenth of that amount! Of course. This could be because she is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. Yeah. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. And I can totally be if I help you defend yourself. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Got it. Alright, Dory. Where are the whereabouts of knowledge capsules? Here, over here! Oh, welcome back! Patrons, what can I do for you this time? You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. That's one way of phrasing it. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Aha. Uh -huh. So it appears the can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of a divine knowledge capsule. Oh! <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary canned knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. How much? After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. Not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name your price. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misri, the leader of Ein El Ahmar. Ein the El leader? Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worship the Scarlet King? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. Somewhat, yeah. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of the Scarlet King. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other can knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Hmm, makes sense why they probably would think it would be Scarlet King related. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. Mora for Dory opens doors. <laughs> oh, hey, Thumb, we got the info you wanted. Really? 
All right. Let's hear it. It's in the hands of Ayn al Akma. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al-Akhmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain el-Akhmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. Are we sure, like, with them having it for a week, it's going to be safe? Like, I mean, I don't believe they're going to be able to open it themselves, but that's kind of risky still. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Unless, yeah, I guess not. They're... Even if they learn anything, it's not going away. It's not like one-time use. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, three o'clock sharp. We'll be there. See you then. A few days later. Okay, so we're actually gonna just skip the days. Oh, hey, I'm sure is taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Let's go! Yep, let's go! Oh, hey, Thumb. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. Look at him. It was I who made clearly a five -star. negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. Okay. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get him, boys! All right. Let's have some fun. Yep, of course you are involved in this fight. It's all me. That's cool. Cool you got to have all these uh, testing on here. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Never fun. I haven't fun with the spear people now that I think about it. Alright. You like that? Academia scum! I don't know what if I told you I'm not even from the academia. Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can. Uh -huh. Boss? Uh oh. I don't... That's not good. Oh! It's okay. We got the open. Oh, it's red. We have to cut his Akasha connection. Now. Oh. Target acquired. Arrested. Wait, 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 no, no. Oh, well, actually, no, man, I don't know whose side I'm on.
Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Nice. <laughs> But, okay. Using the divine thing would not be as easy as we hoped. World, forget me. Oh, forget me. Okay, we've heard those words before. What in Tibet just happened? It's like that big guy suddenly lost his mind. He did lose his mind. It looks like he used the divine knowledge cap. Okay, so they take you. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Too much knowledge for hit the brain. Speaking of which, Hypatia did mention. Oh yeah, you mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermansoul? Maybe yeah, or maybe it's just they can't handle the fact that what what the, the, the truth. I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. Overloaded with knowledge. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Well, I think I have an idea. That's what I heard before. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. Oh, what a shame! Oh, they were don't so worry. close. Don't worry, Paimon. We got a sneaky fella here with us. Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? What if you open it, Paimon? I mean, I'm pretty sure I can handle you. As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Hmm. You're oh, not gonna share that you have it? I'm so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I feel like, um... Greater Lord Rukutabaka is now more of a mystery. I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Oh. Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub Zero's festival. Right, we gotta go back to that. Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest That's in right, the That's right, yeah, it's technically we'll been like time. a week or something, or two weeks. Very close. You have a point. Looking forward to that, actually. Don't open that without us. Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Hmm. So he didn't tell us. Oh! Back to Sumeru. 